All right, guys, we're going to play kind of sort of a guessing game. So if you will get your mats at home out or a piece of paper at home or something of the sort, we are going to, at the top of our board, make that go away. I'm going to draw a cloud. It's going to cover the whole top of the sky. Here's my cloud. Everybody see that cloud? Okay, and inside that cloud, I'm going to put these blends. I'm going to put BL. I'm going to put CL. I'm going to put SL. And I'm going to put FL. Those are our blends. You guys can write those at home too. All right, pause me if you need to, but I am moving on. Here's going to be your mystery words. Okay, this is a blank line and it says OK. Blank line. Oh, I'm going to be giving you clues as to what these words are. You're going to see if you can figure them out. Blank line. Oh. Blank line. Oh. Okay. You can kind of see them. Move them up here so that guy's out of the way. Okay. Number one, here is the first clue for your mystery word. Are you ready to play this mystery word game and be mystery word detectives? Are you ready? Just say yes. You're ready. I know you're ready. You got this. Number one, so easy. It is a square wooden block that you, a square piece of wood that you build with. I just gave away the answer. I hope you were listening. Square piece of wood that you can build with. What on earth could that be? Hmm. You're going to take one of these blends. And you're going to stick it right here, and it's going to give you the mystery word. So let's try BL. Let's put BL in. We're looking for a small piece of wood you can build with. That's a block, isn't it, guys? Let's see if this says block. 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 Does it say block? Uh, yes, it does. We got that one. All right, number two. This means to fall. That's the only clue I'm giving you. This one's a little harder. It means to fall. So you can put a BL, CL, SL, or FL here and get your word, but it means to fall. You think you have it? Shout it out if you think you have it. Okay, I'm going to write it and let's see how we did. I'm going to put an FL in here. So it's full op, flop, means to fall. Excuse me, it means to fall over, flop. All right, number three. It is a group of sheep. It's a group of sheep. Do you know what a group of sheep is called? I'm not going to tell you if you don't know. It's a group of sheep. I'm going to take this guy again. I'm going to stick him right here. What's a group of sheep called? A flock. Flock. All right, last one. This is like a little opening that you can put your mail through. And I know some of you guys don't have these, but in other countries they have... They have them, or in big cities, they have them indoors, and it's like a little flap, and when the mailman comes around, he sticks your door, he sticks your mail through it, and it goes through the door. And it's okay if you don't know this one. This one's kind of hard. We don't really have these around here where we live. You put the SL in, and it's a slot, slot. So, that one's a little harder, because we don't really have mail slots around here, do we? All right, so I'm erasing. And I hope that you guys did awesome. If I know you're doing awesome, it makes my face look like a this. Oh, that looks angry. Ah! If I know you're doing awesome, it makes my face look like this. I'm grinning. You can't tell, but I'm grinning. That's a what it makes on my face I look alike. Makes me smile. So y'all keep up the good work. It keeps me grinning, and it keeps your grades good. So make sure you're watching. Hey, you never know when I might draw you a really goofy picture at the end of the lesson. So make sure you're looking, and you're hanging in there with me, and you guys are doing an awesome, awesome job.